we have um, a uh, centrosome, an area of the cell that has the two centrioles inside. And there are also rings of uh, material called gamma tubulin. And this makes a little ring, a little lock washer, that's about the same size as a microtubule and helps to cap the minus end. So again, we're going to cap that minus end and prevent any other subunits from depolymerizing from that point. Um, because that end is capped, now when it adds subunits, they're going to keep growing and growing and growing. And where a microfilament would be shrinking at the minus end, a microtubule, again, is capped, so it's stable at that end. So we're going to grow specifically at the plus end. However, that's not to say that the microtubules themselves are totally stable. Instead, they have a process called dynamic instability, where here you'll get the individual microtubules that have different lengths. If you look at them over time, you see that some that were long are now short. Some that were short are now long. Um, so what we really want to talk about now is how we can describe this behavior. We know this happens, you can watch it, but what's the actual physical basis? So for that, we have to talk about this extra process called catastrophe. And this is going to get into how tubulin dimers are added to the microtubule. So we're going to, again, add those tubulin dimers. Now those dimers have GTP, guanosine triphosphate, attached to them. And that GTP tubulin is what's added to the plus end. Remember, the plus end is the polymerizing end of the microtubule. And we just keep adding subunits and adding, adding subunits. And as it happens, you see the microtubule is getting longer over here. Now, after that GTP bound tubulin is in the microtubule, it is hydrolyzed. So we have GDP, or the diphosphate tubulin, present down here. So if we've gone, the little red dots are supposed to show our triphosphate, and without that is the diphosphate 